It is 6.45 tonight. The NFL will release each team's season schedule. It's usually a time of great excitement, but there's so much uncertainty surrounding the uh, COVID-19 effect on football and all other major sports. In the last half hour, Leslie talked with Saints punter Thomas Morstead, who talked about the Saints opting out of the virtual season. The uh, players have not gotten any structure, really, except to show up for training camp in late July in the best shape of their lives. Let's talk just a little bit about training camp. You guys are lucky you have the uh, same core group of guys coming back for the most part. Not any coaching change that I know of, no turnover there. Um, so that helps, but just how difficult is it gonna be? I know training camp seems like it's forever for you players, but it's really not. So how difficult is that gonna be stepping on the field for the first time as the Saints 2020 team with just such a short amount of time to get things together? Um, you know, whether we're training in the in the off season together or separately at our houses, um, you know, other than not being able to bond with teammates or new guys, that'll be a bit unique. Uh, but as far as being ready to go physically, I think, you know, we're professionals, and um, and if you're not, you probably won't stick around in the NFL very long. Sure. And so, um, you know, I, I don't see it being much different at all. Um, it, it'll be different now if, if training camp is all of a sudden a week or two right. weeks to get ready for a season, which who the heck knows what's going to happen there. So, um, you know, but it's, uh, I, I don't see it, uh, you know, if we started training camp on time and the season went on uh, as normal, I don't think it would be uh, much different than, you know, we went through that in 2011 with, uh, with the lockout year and we had a great year that year. So, um, you know, I don't think it'll be too big of a deal. Right. It'll definitely be difficult for the rookies. Let's talk just a little bit about y'all's division now. This is so weird. All of a sudden, two of the uh, other three quarterbacks are really no longer in the, the right rotation anymore. Teddy Bridgewater is now in Carolina. Um, you got Tom Brady and Gronk in Tampa Bay. And now Jameis Winston is a saint. Will you just talk a little bit about how weird that is? So many changes in such a short amount of time. Yeah, I think obviously um, <clears throat> Tom Brady – going to Tampa is obviously uh, a big spotlight about that. And, um, but, you know, this changes every year. Um, so, you know, I, I'm, you know, I, I don't get surprised by anything. I've kind of seen it all now. And, um, and so there's nothing new under the sun for me. Uh, I do think that it's exciting to have a little more limelight uh, being shined on the uh, NFC South. Um, you know, every year when that schedule comes out, you're looking for those Sunday night, Monday night, Thursday night games, the primetime games. Um, and so to have more star power come to the division, um, I think is exciting because that I think gives us all a better chance of, of playing in some of those games that we look forward to. It is going to be so exciting. We're definitely looking forward to it. And last question I have for you, we don't know what's going to happen with the season, but if it comes to a point where you guys have to play – games and empty stadiums what's that going to be like well I've never done that before so I don't know um I you know obviously um we play the game uh for a bunch of different reasons but um one of the biggest things is playing for our fans and for our city and uh you know I don't think anybody wants to have a season where we don't have our fans in the stands but um on the flip side, if, if the options are don't play or play with no fans, I think most fans would say we'd love to have a football season, even if we can't um, go to games. Uh, you know, I think only about 7% of NFL fans actually go to games. So uh, there's, a, there's over 90% of people don't go to games and they just watch on TV and they're big fans. And so, um, you know, it would obviously be a big change for us as players and it would be a huge change for fans that are used to going to games weekly or biweekly. Um, but you know, I think everybody's going to be looking for, uh, sports is just so refreshing. The, uh, the, uh, purity of it and the, um, you know, it's just, it, it's, it's just, you know, it's live. It's people that are, everybody's just trying to do their best to win. There's just, there's just a pureness about it that everybody loves. And, um, and so hopefully, you know, I, we're not even close to there yet. The world keeps changing every week. But I think, um, you know, we've got a lot of smart people in this world that are doing their best to make moves, um, get supply chains going and get testing better and getting more testing and all these things. And uh, I think the ingenuity of this, the, uh, 
of humans just generally when everybody's guns are all pointed at the same direction at this COVID thing that we'll have a good chance of um, giving ourselves the best opportunity to get back to normal as quick as possible. So um, I'm sure we'll have those discussions as we get closer. All right, Thomas. And there's so many things about this season we are waiting to see.